Hi there guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the LGP Designs um, Cut and Engrave Output Series. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on, um, on uh, softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, you're back in the program. So just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the LGP design feature, and I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, when it comes to the feature, we have not looked at the output tab yet, so now we're going to start diving into this tab. There's quite a few settings here, but um, a lot of this is similar to the actual program's uh, settings, so we don't have to go into too, too much depth with most of them. So now on top here, under the, the LGP cut and engrave, you'll see we've got speed in milliseconds. So this works the same as the program. By now, at the moment, it's on 100. You can put default as well, then it'll use the program's default. And then um, we've got it for the power. We've got your minimum power, maximum power. And then if you have two laser heads here, there's the two settings you can set individually. So now obviously, once again, you follow the principle of high speed, low power, or um, low speed, high power, depending on what type of cut you want to do. Then um, you also have the default where we can choose there. Then we've got scan precision. So this is kind of like your DPI, dots per inch. Then we've got backlash that you can also set here. We've got um, on delay. You'll see all of these on milliseconds. And then uh, we've got here, so we've got an on delay is blow on, which is quite convenient. And then we've got off delay. Then under that, we've got your output 90 degree rotation. So if you wanted to rotate your entire thing. But yeah, that is it on the cut or LGP cut and engrave. Next up, we'll be looking at the enable outline cutting. But in the meanwhile, if we had to go here to um, softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.